Hi, Jabinia. Welcome to your April forecast. Now let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Hmm. Oh. Very good. You know, for Gemini's who's trying to sell off their properties or houses, um, this is actually a very good month for you that you will finally be sending out your house. Or you will be buying a new one this, this month. And there will be a brand new beginning. And I feel like you're going to be... I'm picking up nine, nine, number nine, nine, 900,000, 90,000, or something like that. You're going to be getting a very good amount for your, you know, for your property. You don't have to short sale it. You don't have to lower down the price. You don't have to, you know, do some stuff just to, you know, get it sold out. People are the one who will be coming to you. They're the one who will be, like, um, asking you if it's okay, if the price that they're asking is okay. There will be five people that will be coming to you, and you only have to choose, you know, whichever will be offering you best. And I feel like um, you'll be closing a deal with an earth sign woman. Okay, somebody from the past, which is a younger earth sign. I feel like you will be a little bit um, acting mean and cold towards this person this month. You will also be um, feeling so strict and... Uh, you know, cold-hearted this month because of the obligations that you need to fulfill. And you have a very short tolerance for dramas, which is somebody will be, um, you know, throwing it your way just to distract you. Some Geminis will also be suffering from um, blisters. And allergy, hive, and you will continuously um, be more conscious about your body weight or about your body figure. And you will be continuing with your new diet or with a new health regime. Okay. Let's take a look at your oracle. Healer, nine of abundance. Oh, three of abundance. Oh, Gemini, you really, um, you know. Money is really wow, you know. They are coming to you. Abundance, prosperity. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Well, you will be moving to a new place, new house uh, this month. Around within the next two weeks. And I feel like you will also be able to sell off a property, you know, that you've been trying to push in the market and... Uh, Finally, it will get sold out this month, and you'll be very happy and pleased with the uh, with the amount that it will, you know, get close to. I mean, you don't really have to lower down the price. You don't have to bargain too much. People are the one who will be coming to you, offering you their deals and stuff like that. And the only thing here is because of this 
um, obligations. Of course, that there are some papers that you need to sign and release and everything else. So your planned trip on the second week of this month is not going to, you know, it's not going to push you through or you have to reschedule it. Even though you really want to see somebody from the past or you want to see somebody that lives across your, you know, your city or you want to visit somebody, you feel like you need to delay this a little bit and there will be a bit of a fight and argument and somebody from the past will also be uh, getting in touch with you you know this is actually the same okay this earth sign this younger earth sign that will be uh, getting in touch with you again that you will be extra mean and cruel because this person have already uh, betrayed you in the past and you don't want to hear from them it seems like you just need to learn how to forgive okay you're already starting a brand new life in a brand new beginning and all you need right now is to you know clean up your slate and uh, start a brand new beginning with no grudges and no you know hangovers or angst over somebody who had done you wrong in the past just let karma handle its own course okay what's more important is that you need to travel lighter to your path and to your journey and those people who belongs to your past should be kept there behind and i feel like there will be some communications back and forth but it's not gonna be a very good result okay so better just avoid this person once and for all or because i feel like you still have a lot of um you know it's like you still have a lot of um like anger or, or you're still upset over this person about what they have done to you in the past especially that they are the one who's uh, the reason why you've uh, run out of money or they are the one who uh what do you call this like um drained your finances but in overall, you will be working more and you'll be working harder in all of your, you know, all of your, um, what do you call this, um, hard works, efforts, it will definitely be paying off. Now, there will be some difficulties that will be coming to you when it comes to your workplace. And it seems like you're the one who will be bearing for the, um, you know, responsibilities that's supposed to be um your team will be sharing with you however it's like you are the one who will be left out with all the uh, task and even if you will you know ask them to do their part they're not going to do it okay so what you're going to do is that you'll be asking help from somebody that lives far from you and this is even though this is younger than you they're kind of an expert in this field and this person will be helping you out big time okay it's like you will be outsourcing somebody just to finish up a project or job and because you need to hand this over okay within the next two weeks and you are you know um you're all of the cringing and you all you all of the it, it's like you're panicking that what if you're you won't be able to hand it over at the uh, the right time and you want to impress the management that you want to finish this off before its deadline and you will be able to it's just that there are some things that you need to get from your own pocket just to get things done. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's all worth it. And those people that you've been working with is very lazy and unprofessional. You will be asking the management to for them to be removed or to be transferred to another department or to another team. And you will be gathering a new uh, people or personnel around you, which is you will have the call. Okay, and the, the management will be allowing you to make a decision or you to or for you to make, um, you know, that uh, certain changes that you want to make because they will be very impressed and they'll be very, very pleased with how you are doing your job and how you are finishing up your task. Yep, victory. And yeah, even though it's going to be like a very tough month for you dealing with some, I you know, ass people and... Um, unprofessional unhelpful lazy you know and um jealous and bitter pe uh, people that is unfortunately working around your team well you will be doing this all on your own and the thing here is by the time that the management gives your team or your 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 department a credit they are the first one who will be taking it and they're the one who'll be feeling so proud but you are going to be putting them into where they should be uh standing 
and where they should be placed at okay so there's people around you you don't really have to worry you i mean the management got your back and they will be allowing you to make the certain changes that you wanted to have but you know in overall you will be successful and you will be like again winning their um you know their attention and winning their approval now when it comes to your now when it comes to your love life uh, let's take a look this person from the past you know that uh, both of you are still connected and you'll be like acting mean and cruel and it's like you don't want to talk to this person anymore you don't want to see this person anymore uh i feel like they needed something from you that's why they are trying to be nice to you okay they are in need of money or finances and you've already provided so much for this person in the past when they when you were still together but then what this person have done to you is that they betrayed you set you up and even left you with a lot of debts to pay and it's a good thing that you're making a lot of money but you already learned your lesson that even if you still have a lot of feelings for this person at this point because you believe that there's more good to them and they have a lot of potential to become a better person but you need to you know control yourself and have some self-discipline only them can change themselves and not you and there's nothing that you can do to you know to um get get them out of their situation because if you do that it's like you are already altering and you're already like um, interfering with their karma okay they won't have that kind of situation or they won't have that kind of problem if they cannot get themselves out of it now if they you know if they're if they will be able to if they won't be able to get themselves out of there and they feel so stuck then that is already their problem and not yours okay you just need to keep on going you just need to keep on moving you know money success prosperity abundance happiness it's already there right in front of you okay and yeah even though that there's still a chance even though you you know you know to yourself that this person have a lot of potential it's like no you know it's enough is enough and you just need to look at more of the bad consequences rather than the good consequences you need to weigh down the logic and uh, the reality of the situation it's not really gonna happen now this person will try to seduce you and i feel like your sex life will be a little bit more exciting than the usual because you'll be breaking some you know some conventional habits or some conventional stuff that you follow and um, mm -hmm. i feel like this person will try and seduce you and you're going to be giving in and if you're already with somebody right now definitely you you will be so afraid of getting caught up but you know the lust and the physical attraction is just way a little bit too overbearing and uh uh, well you know we always find our own kryptonite and it seems like this person is your kryptonite you know and it's gonna be a fatal attraction and I feel like it's gonna be a little bit weird okay be very careful i don't feel like this person have a very good intention towards you and they will be using sex as a tool to lure you and to you know drive you into that depression again you're already on the right track you're doing good you are you know um you're just a few inches away you know going to the top and if you will be paying attention to this person all of your efforts all of your hard works in the past you know uh, on your way up it will just go down to zero okay now when it comes to your health well your immune system will be a little bit compromised because you will be suffering from an allergy um that you will be getting from uh like grasses or fields or something like that and the uh, asthma attacks fever hive uh, rheumatism um uh, 
lethargy, depression. Um, you also need to rehydrate yourself and you need to have some balanced diet. Um, skin allergies. Okay. Migraine. Um, be careful and, uh, you know, going near the water. Um, I feel like you'll be attacked by jellyfish. I'm not really sure if it's the season, but uh, be careful of jellyfish bites. Okay. Or some... Uh, getting injured near the water. Um, you need to be a little bit careful about that. Aside from that, you will also start losing hair, especially for men that you will start noticing that you're getting bald. And uh, it's not that, you know, you're getting bald, but it's in the, uh, it could be shampoo or something that you're using in your hair. And... Um, I don't see much about your... Well, except that you'll have some problems urinating. Um, some UDI or uh, problems with your, you know, with your um, bladder as well. So... Oh, and uh, you will also have some problems sleeping. Because of uh, somebody who will be distracting you and somebody who will be disturbing you. Anyway, let's take a look at your Oracle cards, Healer of Action. This is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open. You're being asked to do many things at once. You won't mind as long as you know you're making a difference. This card indicates someone is loving, intelligent, passionate, and fun, which could definitely describe you. This person can handle diffi uh, difficult situations with grace. Nine of Abundance, life is wonderful. Your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide you with great peace and contentment. Take time to enjoy quiet moments of reflection and leisure. Feel free to buy yourself small luxurious gifts. You've earned the financial security and independence you now enjoy. Three of Abundance, your passions will lead you to, the, to your divine life purpose. Do what you love and have confidence in your talent. Learn everything there is to know about your interest by taking classes, getting a mentor, or teaming up with like-minded people. Allow your creativity to soar. Anyway, that's it for you for this month. The Gemini, if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.